Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I am Danae, and I wanted to do a closet organization video. For those of you who are new and don't know, um, my husband and I relocated um, at the end of the summer from a town that we used to live in. It's about an hour away from here, but his company relocated us because um, his commute was like extremely long. He was driving like two hours one way, an hour and a half to two hours one way each day um, to work. So throughout the week he was staying in a hotel. His company was very generous to help us out with that, um, but we didn't want to take advantage anymore and they offered to help move us closer. So we moved um, in July and we are now in, um, we went from a very large five bedroom home um, to a small three bedroom apartment. And we are in the apartment temporarily because we didn't want to just like quickly jump into a house before we figured out like what area we wanted to be in. We're kind of familiar with this area, but not like extremely familiar. And you know, a lot of people that my husband works with have given us a lot of like insight and input to like the areas that are good here. Um, but at the time that we moved, I was nine months pregnant. Literally after we moved, two weeks later, I gave birth to our son, Gunner. So I did not want to feel rushed into trying to like quickly find a house and, you know, close and move and prepare for a baby and do all of that. So we decided to just move into an apartment for the time being so that it would give us a little bit of time to just kind of like take a breather and slow down for a minute and really get acclimated to the area and kind of figure out what areas we were interested in the most. And I'm really glad that we did this, even though it's super hard going from a larger home to a very smaller, you know, much smaller place. Um, most of our stuff is in storage. Uh, we have two storage units with a majority of our furniture, all of our stuff. I mean, we really tried to keep really just like the basic like minimum things here so um it's been a little trying but i'm really glad that we did that because we are now like really getting a little more acclimated with the area and trying to figure out where exactly we do want to be so um i you know coming from our house before we had a very large walk-in closet both my clothes and chris's clothes were in our closet which says a lot because I have a lot of clothes myself, but my husband has a ton of clothes, especially for a guy. So um, we had a very large closet and coming here, the closets here in the apartment are, they're walk-in closets, but they're, they're very small. They're very compact. And I would say that they're very comparable to like a regular size closet that you would see in an older home or a home that doesn't have walk-in closets. Just, you know, maybe like the, the two doors that you would pull open. Um, so I think that this video would definitely pertain to those who even don't have a walk-in closet, but that have smaller closets and are limited to the space that they have to put their things in. Um, I wanted to do this video because it's been a little challenging to kind of figure out how to organize it in a way that makes sense, in a way that is easy to find things so that it looks clean, it looks put together. Um, it doesn't look just like uh, like, like a jumbled mess. Um, and I've reorganized it a few different times since we've lived here just because I couldn't really find like that right fit. Um, and I finally did. And I'm really excited with how it turned out because it is really hard when you have limited space and you really have to like work with what you have and make do. And I think that this would be really helpful for people who are living in dorms or who live in an apartment or have, you know, a house with small closets. Um, not everybody is blessed with huge walk-in closets. And it's very humbling to kind of go from that amount of space that we had to what we have now. Um, 
because it really does put things into perspective and, and I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. I typically purge my closet twice a year. I usually purge in the spring and I get rid of things that I didn't wear that fall and winter. And then I purge um, in the fall and get rid of things that I didn't wear spring and summer. Um, and I have actually, I purged a lot before we moved and I've actually purged again to the point that I'll show you. I have four bags and a box of clothes that I'm getting rid of. So I've even purged again since we've been here. Um, so anyways, I just I wanted to share with you how I organize my closet, especially for a smaller space, um, so that I may give you some ideas of how you may want to organize things. So I will preface this in saying that I have always been kind of a freak I guess about my closets my my friends used to make fun of me in college um, two in particular two of my girlfriends um, would come over and they thought it would be funny to like rearrange my closet because I always had it organized a certain way I am very particular about like color coding everything and like certain styles of like cl of, of shirts going together and they would always just thought that it was hilarious and they would come in and, and like rearrange everything so I am very particular but I find that it really helps to make it look clean and to find things and I just I really like that that may not be your thing and you don't necessarily have to do that but even still just even like part of how I organize it might be helpful to you. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my closet and just to kind of give you an idea. So the closet that I'm using is in um, one of our guest bedrooms. Chris is actually using the closet in our bedroom. Um, I decided to keep my stuff in this bedroom because I use the bathroom that's in here. He uses the bathroom that's closer to our bedroom. Um, I use this bathroom because it has a big like garden tub in there and, and I take a lot of like bubble baths and things like that. So it just it just worked out better. And so I offered our closet to him because I thought that it would be easier if I'm getting ready in this bathroom just to have all of my clothes and items in here. So this is the closet. Don't mind all the stuff that's like over here. This is all Christmas gifts and things that I have to wrap. Um, but this is my closet from bottom to top and you can see even though it's a walk-in closet, it is very compact and very tight. And I don't even have all of my stuff in here. I really have, like, for shoes and stuff, have just pulled out the things that I wear the most. So, I'm going to show you. I guess I'm going to start... Um, I guess I'll start, like, right here from... And I don't know, the lighting in here is really bad. Um... I feel like it looks a little bit better. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so these two boxes that are up here, those just have like random things. Like one box has like extra like leggings and like the little bandeau tops that I wear under like my workout tanks and tanks that have like the larger arm like hole cutouts. Um, and then there's like my wider like more decorative belts are in the other box and the bottom box down there these two plastic containers right there the one on the bottom is just like random things like extra accessories like phone cases um, a dust bag for my purse um, my GG clutch um, and then the one on top of that is like all of my other belts, like my skinnier belts, the belts that I used to wear a lot, like for work, a little more dressier, things like that. Then right here I have like my blanket scarves and then just some like extra bags that I can use. And then like these, let's see if I can get up here. These little like things right here, those are like um, little uh like a ring holder and dishes that I used to use to keep my jewelry and rings in. I really don't have a good place to store my jewelry right now. So I'll show you how I have it right now, which is really not like the best way to store it. But I really haven't been into like wearing a ton of jewelry lately. I really just wear like a few like 
pieces here and there and most of what I wear is like the same things that I wear every single day. Um, I just have some of my extra like Tiffany boxes. I like to use those boxes like in that bigger Tiffany box. There's like smaller ones that I like to use especially when I'm traveling. It's nice just to put like my earrings and things like that in those boxes and in the pouches um, to travel with to kind of keep them separated. And then those two boxes right there, those just have extra things in them like sunglass cases, um, pouches for traveling, like for shoes and jewelry and things like that. And then up here, I just have my hats. Like these two sections here are my hats that I wear the most. I have my Auburn hat, War Eagle, my Cubbies hat, um, my Michigan State hat, and my Detroit Tigers hat. I'm originally from Michigan, so of course I'm a state and Tigers fan, but my husband is an Auburn fan, and so by marriage I have become an Auburn fan as well. Um, and I've also always like enjoyed watching the Cubs, and my husband is a huge Cubs fan. Even though he's from Alabama, he grew up loving the Chicago Cubs. And then I just have a couple other, like these are like my Sunset Cove hats, um, because that's where we hang out every weekend in the summer. Um, and then just a few like other random hats. I have like an Under Armour hat and Columbia and these are just good like hats Oops, um, for working out in. And then here I just have like my little like wool hat, my fedora, um, and then I have another like wool winter hat and then I have just like a black sun hat as well. And if you can hear like squealing in the background, that is my son. He has figured out how to squeal and he like screeches all the time and I think he just loves to hear the sound of his own voice so that is what you're hearing back there. He's just like cracking up at himself. Um, he's a funny little kid. So okay, so moving on down here, um, kind of just do like a little pan of it. Um, so here I just have like all of my pants. Um, oops. I guess I can't zoom out any further. It's like hard because I don't have, I can't go back any further to give you like a good full vision, but I have pants right here, just like skinny pants, corduroys, colored pants. I have like my linen pants and then like all of my dress pants are right here. And then it goes into my vests. Um, I just have like all of my different vests here and then here are my like I don't remember what you call these things they're not capes but just these like little things that you can wear over tank tops and t-shirts and stuff and they're just really cute so and then it goes into like my cardigans so all of my cardigans and sweaters are all right here and as you can see, like I do arrange everything by style. So I have pants, vests, um, again, I can't remember what these are called right now. I'm totally having a brain fart. Um, cardigans, and then it goes into jackets. And then like I'll show you down here too. I have like my tank tops, and then it goes into short sleeves and long sleeves. And within each category, it's color coordinated. Um, so I'll kind of go a little bit more into detail with that, but like I'll start out with black and then it goes into blue, then brown, then cream, then gray, green, orange, pink. If I had purple, it would go into purple, red, yellow, white. So I kind of do it like alphabetically. So color coordinated alphabetically. I know that's really weird but that's just how I do things. That's just how my mind works. Then I have like all of my jackets here, which this section is a little bare right now because I have to do laundry and I wear these types of jackets pretty much every day. So most of them are dirty right now. I have like, usually like this whole section is filled with jackets. So I really like, yeah, those are bare. And then these are like more of my dressier jackets that I wear for work. So I have like my short sleeve ones. I have some cropped ones. I have like my blazers. I have my leather jackets in here because these are not like, I don't consider these like coats. I consider them like I wear them as like part of an outfit. Same thing with my denim jackets. 
So I have all of these different jackets back here. And then I have ooh, my Tigers jersey and my Falcons jersey back there. Then down here, I have just like this box is scarves and um, like boot socks. Um, I have my hunter boot socks, my Ugg boot socks, and just like um, like boot cuffs in there. And then this second box is also filled with scarves. Then down here we have shorts. Um, so I have like, it's kind of hard to see. I'm telling you, like space is limited. So you got to do what you got, work with what you got. So I've got a stack of shorts there. And then this stack, which, okay. These are just going down here for now because I can't do this one handed. Um, and then I have jeans, more jeans. And then I have like my like, dressier like nicer leggings that I wear here and like my maternity jeans are here too can't really see them but they're all and some of them are dirty because I'm still in maternity pants oops I dropped these um okay so then down here I have tank tops and again same thing I color coordinate them so I've got black blue brown cream gray green orange you know I mean so on and so forth you can see then it moves into short sleeve tops so same thing here I color coordinate them and then I move into long sleeve tops. And how I do my long sleeve tops is I do them by sleeve length. They're color coordinated and then I organize them by sleeve length. So like if you go to the, well, it's kind of hard to see, but okay, for instance, here's like the brown section. These are all like my three quarter length sleeves. So those go first and then long sleeves. So basically that's how I, do all of those moving back over here just have some extra hangers here are my skirts I do this according to skirt length so my shorter skirts are right here then it goes into like my longer pencil length skirts and then my really long skirts and those are kind of color coordinated as well and then it goes into dresses so I can kind of back up a little bit and give you a better perception here so these are all of my short dresses and again color coordinated um, I do sleeveless dresses first and then short sleeve and then long sleeve and then I have like a small like section right here those are all of like my long maxi dresses again color coordinated there and then this last section here it kind of starts like right here and moves to the end those are all like dresses that I wear like swimsuit cover-ups and things that I wear like when we're on our boat um, and things that I wear over my swimsuit like when we're on vacation and things like that so moving down to shoes so again I have like two huge tote containers that have like all of like my heels more of my sandals things like that in them so I've really just pulled out the ones that I wear the most um, and then if I'm like looking for a particular pair then I'll just go um, and I keep those in um, our other guest bedroom so um, I really just tried to limit it to the ones that I wear the most because we just again don't have the space right now um, so I've kind of it's hard it's really hard to see let's see if I can try to get some good light in here okay so that helps so I mean I even have space to go like another row back there if I wanted to for sandals but I'm just like not gonna fuss with it right now so I have most of my sandals that I wear are the Sam Edelman Gigi's so a lot of the ones that you see here are those um, I do have my Jack Rogers my platinum ones because I do love those and those go with everything um, these are some brand that I'm not restricted 
Um, I got these at TJ Maxx actually, and I wear those a ton. I wore those actually like probably the last like two months of my pregnancy. I wore these because these are the only things that could fit <laughs> on my feet, but they're actually really cute and I get so many compliments on them. So Sam Edelman, most of these. Then I have like all of my flats over here, which I do have like a ton of flats back there. Um, but the ones that I wear the most really are like my Rivas. So these are all Tory Burch. These are the ones I wear the most. J. Crew. I do wear my leopard print ones a lot. And I do wear these a lot from Target. Those brown like tan ones. And then boots are over here. So I have like my black guest boots. These are the ones like I wear these a ton. Um, actually these I got last year. I think these are the what is it? The Enzo something. Yeah, Enzo Angiolini. I love these boots. These are over the cat or over the knee boots. And they're my favorite. I actually, I probably wear those the most now. Um, fry boots right here. And then some other just like random boots that I have. Um, these are just like um, I got these this year. They're Michael something. Michael Shannon, I think. They're really comfortable and they're super, super cute. Um, and then just some other random boots. I do keep this little like step stool in here because it is hard for me to reach up top. Okay, so that's all of that. And then <laughs> these two bags is jewelry. So basically what I did when we, when we moved is I packed all of my jewelry in these little snack bags. I got these at Target. So every single necklace is in one of these. Every pair of earrings, ring. That way they're all separated. They don't get tangled. They don't get mixed up. And then I put them in larger Ziploc bags. So for now I'm just storing them in here. Um, and if I need something specific I can just kind of rifle through and like pick out what I want um, and it just makes it a little bit easier versus like trying to get them untangled and doing all of that so that really is everything I mean that is the closet in a nutshell literally in a nutshell so I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that it gives you like some ideas of how you may want to organize your closet Ooh, that lighting is really bad there we go my baby's crying, so I need to get to him. So I hope that this really gives you like a good sense of maybe how you want to organize your closet. Again, you don't have to do yours exactly like mine, but it might give you a little more like idea, I guess, of what might work for you. If you don't want to color coordinate, maybe you want to do it by like shirt size or, or shirt style, or, um, sleeve length or things like that. So Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it to be helpful. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel and you want to continue seeing more videos. Um, and yeah, any comments, questions, anything like that, please leave it below. Um, I do hope that you found this to be helpful and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.